Mountains re-erupts in Northern Territory, Australia. The town at Wadai is in crisis. The town at 2,000 people has fights, cars burnt, and what's happening? Very, very little. Let's listen to the latest report. The police have years um, been trying to, to keep under control and we are seeing these issues flare up again now. Uh, we heard from police just yesterday uh, that there had been more uh, serious unrest in the community of Wadair. They have sent uh, the Territory Safety Division, a new high vis visibility police a unit to that community, uh, but uh, they really are struggling uh, to keep things under control out there at Wadair at the moment. You mentioned that this is not the first time we've had problems in this community um, a couple of years ago when, uh, did you say a hundred homes were destroyed? And I think those homes had to be rebuilt at the cost of taxpayers to the tune of about $10 million, didn't they? So there's a number of strands to this story. There's the violence, which we don't want to see because we don't want to see anybody getting hurt. But then this also becomes a big issue for taxpayers who've got to come in and clean up the damage. Yeah, it was quite extraordinary the amount of damage that, that was done um, throughout 2022 um, and, and last year as that fighting took place. I was out there uh, in what air uh, about a month or, or so ago, um, James. I mean, there was a mixed view about how things were going in the community at that time. Some people I spoke to, some elders were saying that really the trouble was continuing and the government was trying to put a more positive spin on things, saying it was uh, somewhat under control. But I, I think as you've seen in the past... Uh, a few days, uh, really, things are always simmering close to the, the surface there in Water, and we've seen that boil over again. We're also seeing it in, in nearby communities, including uh, Daly River and the other community of, of Pet Minardi. Uh, we've seen some quite disturbing things happen. There's a, a group of a young men out of Pet Minardi who call themselves the Jody Boys. Uh, and they've been actually driving into Darwin. There have been several incidents where, where they drive into Darwin from Pet Minardi. Uh, they steal cars. Uh, they've been, there have been instances where they've actually gone and uh, raided camping stores and stolen crossbows and the like from those type of stores and then used them in some of the violence that's taken place back out there in the West Daly region. So, I mean, there's a difficult issue for police to try and get on top of. There are all sorts of issues contributing to this. Uh, one of them are the cultural issues. One of them... Uh, is is the, the warring that's gone on um, for a long time between uh, rival clan groups out there. And the other issue uh, is alcohol. Now, police say they put roadblocks in place uh, to try to divert the, the alcohol, uh, what is a dry community. Uh, and they say that they've been able to intercept uh, some of those people trying to run grog into that community. But that's another issue that's really adding uh, to the trouble that we're seeing out there at the moment. Alice Springs, of course, as I mentioned in the introduction, um, had all sorts of problems 12 months ago. Um, just what's going on in Alice Springs now? Have things really calmed down there or are we just not hearing about it but the same problems continue to exist there as well? Well, I'll probably be able to give you a better idea uh, next week because I'll be on the ground there in, in Alice Springs. But uh, things, I think, are starting to get out of control again in Alice Springs. Uh, the Police Commissioner, Michael Murphy, today said that they've been 17 cars stolen there in, in seven days. There was a, another report uh, just two days ago of uh, the, the local KFC there that was broken into at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, the guy who manages the KFC, he went there at 3 o'clock in the morning. He couldn't get into his own store. He rang triple zero uh, and he said he was told by the operator at triple zero not to go into town in Alice Springs uh, because uh, of the number of stolen cars that were being driven around uh, in a dangerous manner in the town at that time. So... I think that there was uh, uh, things probably improved a little bit after Anthony Albanese's visit there last January. I think the most important thing that happened when the Prime Minister visit, visited there 12 months ago was that he forced the Northern Territory Government to reinstate alcohol bans in Alice Springs town camps. Uh, but, I mean, this is traditionally a time of the year uh, where those issues flare up in Alice Springs. It's the summer period. It's a period where a lot of people come in uh, to Alice Springs uh, from surrounding communities. Uh, and so I think the police are going to have their work cut out again, uh, trying to keep on top of this problem uh, this summer. Matt, just quickly, uh, you mentioned...